Like next up, we're going to be doing a labiaplasty. Now, we won't be snapping it, uh, but I'll explain again what labiaplasty is. It's a hot topic. People talk about it a lot, but there's not a lot of good information out there. So this is a procedure that can be done with you either asleep or awake. In this case, we'll be doing awake. We do about 95% of our patients awake. A little freezing, a little bit of a needle. Um, stings when it goes in, and then it's completely numb. The freezing lasts about six to eight hours, so she'll be comfortable for quite a while. So the freezing lasts about six to eight hours. Afterwards, the patients are given pain medication just to feel comfortable. They may walk like a cowboy for about a week or so. Um, that's about it. Okay, so we are all done. Uh, I gave the freezing a few minutes to work. It's fully frozen now. It also has epinephrine. That's what allows us to do this almost like a bloodless surgery. We prepped and draped the green towels that you see. This is all sterile and we're good to go. So the freezing is completely set in. I'm using my cutting instrument to cut the excess tissue and cauterize any bleeders. And because I froze the area, she feels absolutely nothing. She doesn't even know I'm doing anything. We are suturing now. We're just talking about the stitches. So I use absorbable stitches, which is great because they're gonna fall out on their own. You don't have to worry about having them taken out. The downside is they're fragile. And the most common complication or problem after labiaplasties is people breaking their stitches and the wounds opening up a little bit. Now, if that happens, we can't go back and suture things back together because they'll become infected. We have to let everything heal on its own. Um, it usually heals perfectly fine and doesn't need any touch-ups, uh, but it does take a little bit longer to heal. So it's not a dangerous complication, it's an annoying complication. So after labiaplasty, you do have to be careful. Um, just you know, move around gingerly, don't rip it open. You, you, know, you spend all this money getting your labias better, don't mess it up by being impatient, being overly active. So when it comes to labiaplasty, physical activity to avoid would be you know, obvious things. No intercourse for six weeks no uh, doing the splits or bicycle riding or sitting on a horse, horseback riding. The other thing people don't think about, and it's good to remember, don't squat, don't do squats, because when you squat, the uh, groin area, the perineal area, goes under tension and can rip the stitches. And the other thing also is when you sit down, sit straight down and up, don't drag your butt along a cushion or a seat, like sometimes people do, because that can rip the incision as well. We are done, took a just a few minutes, a pretty straightforward procedure. Here's the skin we removed. So this is one labia, here is the other. So not a lot of skin, pretty small, but makes a huge difference for a patient.